Hello darlings, I am Cassandra. Welcome back to the Daily Inspirational Oracle Reading provided to you darlings by the Jungle Beauty Goddesses. I'd like for you to take a moment and think about any issues you may have where you're looking for insight, perhaps a sign from the universe, another perspective, another way of looking at it. You may also allow your mind to settle within your heart and let whatever concerns you have surface from your subconscious and let it resonate with today's energy check-in reading. After the reading, I am going to give you an opportunity to ask a yes or no question to the Mystic Beings, which is a, it's a yes or no pick a card. <clears throat> and they will give you an answer um, to your question, perhaps give you a little insight. The first card I have for you today is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Sahara. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Sahara's message to you is is in between the words therein lies the truth actually one of my all-time favorite cards is saying child once you give something a name you put limitations on it but when it's in its purest form when it's in the form of how you feel and you know the truth sometimes we don't even have words for we don't even know how to explain how we know and why we know so anyway this card is telling you to look at to not look at what the obvious don't look at the obvious darling don't look at the words that um, people are saying but even what you are saying okay because a lot of times we say something but it's really not in alignment with our with our truth the next card I have for you it's from Jungle Beauty Goddess Chobby. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Chobby's message to you is your self worth is non negotiable. Darling, your self worth is non negotiable. I feel like if we didn't have another card, that card should like take it you know, like a punch. So the next and the last card I have for you for today is we're pulling in some third chakra energy from Chobi, which has to do with our self-worth, our, our self-honor, our self-respect, our self-esteem. Um, the third chakra is two inches above your navel. And she says, life is not meant to be fair. It's meant to strengthen your courage. Child, this is a, a very straightforward hand. So if you're in a situation in your life right now and you don't feel respected in your relationship, you don't really like the way the person, um, they tell you they love you, right? But their actions say something else. They don't call when they say they're going to call. They don't follow through. You don't really know the status of your relationship. You don't know if you are a buddy, a friend, a you know what I'm saying? If you are a girlfriend or a boyfriend or they're gonna, is this relationship going someplace? You really don't know what is going on because, child, we got this card. Um, and between the words, therein lies the truth, darling. So what they're telling you and how they're treating you doesn't line up. Are you at a job where... They're telling you, oh, we're going to promote you, or you're going to move up, you're going to get a raise, da 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 right? But when you really look at where you have been and how you've been treated over the years, is the way you're being treated in alignment with what is actually happening? And, darling, are you negotiating your self-worth? Are you telling yourself, are you not in alignment with your own truth because you're thinking, well, let me tell you something. A lot of times people, when people are being mistreated and they don't, they're really not truthful about it because again, we listen to the words, but we don't listen to what's in between the words, which is the actions and the emotions and the feelings where the truth really is, right? And we feel that if we just give more, like, okay, well, 
I've already been here for two years and I've been working all day and night and I still haven't gotten the raise that I feel like I deserve. See, you're negotiating your self-worth. Are you taking a, abusive um, dialogue from your boss or from your colleagues? Are you allowing yourself to come second, third, and fourth in a relationship? This, this hand is saying that the way you are being treated the world is treating you darling the way you are allowing yourself to be treated the way you treat yourself is the way other people treat you people don't always want to believe that is if you change the narrative and the dialogue on how you communicate with yourself and just be really honest with yourself and say you know what I don't like it when you talk to me like that I don't like it when people you know, call me out of my name or call me at a certain time or don't return my phone calls or whatever your, you know, concerns you. You have to be really honest with yourself because the cost is too high. The cost of your self-esteem and your self-worth is just, it's just, you don't want to lose that because you're trying to hold on to a relationship that is showing you that it does not value you. If a, if a job doesn't value you, you don't want to hold on to that. If a person doesn't value you, you don't want to hold on to those relationships. But they're not going to value you more than you value yourself, darling. So, yes, the card that says, life is not meant to be fair. It's meant to strengthen your courage. So, listen. The best way to look at it is like this, and I've said this in previous videos, but it's worth repeating. Every hero needs a villain, enemies, obstacles, barriers, right? You need things in your life that aren't working, darling. And you have to look at these things as gifts. Life is not that, so if you have a job where you don't feel respected, you don't feel loved, you don't feel appreciated, you know what? Look at it like this, okay? I am not going to uh, sacrifice my self-worth, but what I am going to do is make sure I go back to school, make sure that when I go back this time that I work really hard to get the grades that I need so that I can get a degree that becomes a key, because I look at degrees as keys that unlock an, another door, so I can move up in management, so I can better myself. You can look look at these obstacles and barriers and look at, you know, when you have been mistreated and say, okay, I see how this is going. So now I am going to work on my book. I'm going to work on my YouTube channel. I am going to put my energy someplace. I'm going to value myself enough, honor myself enough, right? So that I can put my energy someplace where I can be ultimately appreciated. So the things in your life and the people in your life who do not value you, don't negotiate your self-worth. You may not be able to quit your job, but you can definitely spend time doing other things to better yourself and not take on extra responsibility. Why would you take on extra responsibility in a job that doesn't appreciate you? Why would you take on extra love, put extra care into a relationship where someone doesn't value you? You see what I'm saying? Your self-respect is not, is non-negotiable. And don't listen to what people are saying to you, darling. Listen to the way they treat you. The way they treat you and how you feel, like that, that knot, that's the feeling you get in the pit of your stomach when you know something isn't right, when you know someone isn't telling you the truth, darling. That is what you need to pay attention to. You have to value yourself first right in order for other people to value you and the way you value yourself is by spending energy and time on what's important to you for example if and then um, if you're in a relationship and you you know you know that you weren't treated the way res weren't treated in a respectful manner and the way that you deserve to be treated but look at it like this now you know what to look for that's that's the beauty about this card. Life is not meant to be fair. It's meant to strengthen your courage, child. And if you're in a situation now that you know where you're not happy, this is what you do. You know what you don't want now, and that is a gift, right? That is a gift 
to know what you don't want in a relationship and in a person, that is a gift from the universe. So what you're going to do is write a list of characteristics that you're looking for in a mate. Now I'm going to tell you a lot of people, listen guys, if you ask me a question about money, I'm going to be honest with you, I'm not the person to ask because I, you know, for whatever reason, that's an area where I'm just not the best in. Um, but if you ask me a question about love, I I'm good at love. <laughs> so I'm going to tell you this. If you're looking for the perfect relationship, think about how you really want to be treated. Like sometimes people ask for things that, you know, the like, oh, I want this person to make a bit to be a millionaire. Well, honey, a person who is a millionaire, he doesn't want a person who's broke or doesn't have money. So I'm not. I think you should personally ask for things like. I want someone who adores me. I want somebody who loves me. I want somebody who respects me. I want somebody who calls on time. I want somebody who appreciates me. I want somebody who thinks about me first. And when you write things like that, the universe is going to be able to bring you a really, really wonderful person. You understand? Because you might ask for, I want somebody six foot three and I want them to have this. this uh, ask for the qualities of faithfulness and um, commitment you know somebody who is consistent ask for things like that because you you're because the, you want somebody to value you right so the same thing with an employer I want somebody who respects me I want somebody who is not just looking for me to make mistakes but somebody who is looking for I mean, you know, when I do well to to say so, I, I'm looking for somebody who is encouraging to me. I'm looking for somebody who appreciates me and points out to me the things that I'm doing good. Like you should make a list of learn the lessons because, you know, life is not meant to be fair. So, you know, nobody's life is perfect, but it's meant to, to strengthen your courage, have the courage and the self-worth to select different scenarios in the future that would be in alignment with how you truly have learned to value yourself. This reading today is about valuing yourself and aligning yourself with the frequency of how you want to be treated by others. So now I'm going to move to the Mystic Beings, darling. I'd like for you to go ahead and formulate your question in your mind. If you are number one, if you you can select number one, two, or three, I'm going to pull the card for people who have selected number one, and we're going to see what the mystic beings have to say in terms of the answer to the question for people who selected number one. So we would like to know what is your answer to people who have selected number one. Let me get you on focus here. What is your answer, darling? And I'm trying to get her on focus. Her answer is, is this second? Is it just me or my card? You decide. Oh my God. The mystic being is saying, you decide. You decide is the answer to whoever selected question number one. So the universe is open to you. Decide what you want. Be honest too, child, because I found that you're not going to get it unless you ask. So for people who have selected number two, darling, I am going to select a mystic being for you. And we are going to get an answer to your question. For people who have selected number two, I am going to select a mystic being to answer your question. So let's see. We are looking for an answer for the people who selected number two. What is your answer? It says, you know what to do, stop pretending. You know what to do, darling. Stop pretending. That is the answer for people who selected number two. If you selected number three, darling, 
please think of your question and I am going to select the mystic being who is going to answer that question for you. And we have our mystic being for people who, who selected number three for number three dollar. What is the answer to people who selected number three? It says unlimited possibilities. If you select a number three dollar, you have unlimited possibilities. And this could be, you know, when I would ask questions like, who's going to win the election? Unlimited possibilities, or it hasn't been decided yet, or it's not for your highest good to know. Like, it would just never give me an answer. Um, I really hope this reading helps someone. Thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you, darling, in the next video.